Hey guys, we're in here in Hong Kong with Vivo checking out the new Vivo Apex 2019 concept phone. And this phone isn't probably gonna hit the market, it's just a phone that's gonna introduce a bunch of new features that we actually haven't seen in any smartphones yet. So the biggest new feature that is probably available in this phone is the full screen fingerprint reader. And this is pretty significant because on most phones you have to put your finger on a very specific part of the display, but on the Vivo Apex 2019, you can actually read your fingerprint on any part of the display. So whether or not you want to read it in the center of the device, read it on the top of the device, in the bottom of the device, it's fine. There's an optical sensor that is basically right below the display that covers the entire display, and so it shoots light up at your finger and you can unlock it from anywhere. Now the other major thing here is that this phone has no ports, and yeah, that seems kind of strange, and for those of you who are used to using USB ports in your phone, like every single phone that exists right now, that might kind of be an issue. So what they've done here instead is use this inductive charging port that is magnetic, and so they have this little cable that comes with the phone that you're able to slap on the back, and then it charges it via that. Now, this seems a little bit strange, but of course, I asked them about this and they said this is just a concept phone, so they wanna see what it's like if phones don't have any ports or buttons. And of course, if this doesn't have any buttons either, then like, how do you turn on the phone? Well, on the side here, you've got capacitive buttons and touch buttons. So basically, you can turn up the volume and use your power button just by pressing the buttons here or by sliding your finger along here. Now, they're not real buttons, clearly. There's just capacitive sensors right below the display, right on the side here, and so, it might be a little difficult if you wanna like turn up the volume in your pocket or maybe turn on your phone in your pocket, but it makes it so you basically don't have any ports and it's a lot easier to make this phone like water resistant or just a solid piece of glass. Now late last year we saw the Vivo Next Dual Display Edition which introduced another display on the back which allowed you to use those cameras as a selfie camera, but this year there's no selfie camera at all and I talked to them about this, they said of course this is just a concept and this phone isn't going to ship so they didn't really see it as that important to put a selfie camera in this phone, but we might see a similar concept come out later in this year that maybe has a selfie camera built in near the top or somewhere else in the phone. Now the other thing that this phone doesn't have is any ports or grills, so of course there's no audio grill here, there's not a microphone to hear your voice when you're talking, and there's not a speaker grill to kind of put out sound when you're listening to music or on a phone call. So what they've done here instead is put the speaker right below the display. And surprisingly, it works pretty well. It vibrates the display and sprays sound out of the front of the display, and it gets pretty loud. This is basically a front-facing speaker module, so if you really like front-facing speakers on your phone, then this is pretty cool. So overall, I really think this phone is really beautiful. It is a solid unibody display on the back, and then you've just got the display on the front. It's really nice that you can unlock it with your fingerprint anywhere on the display, and it's actually really fast. Vivo probably makes some of the best in-screen fingerprint readers that we've seen on the market so far, and they've rapid prototyped things, things like crazy. This is using the latest generation of those, and it seems to work very, very well. So if you want to learn more about this phone, make sure you head over to AndroidAuthority.com. We've got all the specs and details, lots of photos over there if you really love photos, and I will catch you in the next video.